get rid of credit cards. You don't need a fucking credit card. You see my philosophy? And my mum always taught me this. If you ain't got it in your bank, yeah, then you don't deserve it, yeah? So if you ain't got no money, yeah, you don't deserve to go on no fucking holiday, yeah? If you ain't got the money in the bank to buy these clothes or these trainers or buy this and buy that, then you're not entitled to it. Do you know why? Because the fact that you ain't got the money for it means that you haven't worked hard for it. Yeah, you, therefore, you are not entitled to it, fam. But the problem is, and it's not just young people, but, you know, we're trying to save young people out here, obviously. Man want things, but man don't want to do the work for it. You heard me. Man want things, but man don't want to put in the work for it. Man are lazy. Short-term thinking. As I said, a lot of these are going to overlap. A lot of these points are going to overlap. But... Get rid of fucking credit cards. I met man. Now he ain't young or nothing. He's young in terms of he's not old. He's not a pensioner, but he, he you know, he's not he's not really young no more. Or whatever. And the man's all pushing forty or, or whatever. But anyway, I remember when I was an apprentice. Yeah, well, I just came out of my time. But anyway, yeah, so we're working at homes of hiring gear again. Boom. I met a man. I was talking to a man on a job. And he's talking about going on holiday or whatever, isn't it? He wasn't going nowhere far. You know, you know, English people, they the man's gonna go Tenerife or Spain or somewhere like that, Benny Dorm, whatever, innit? So boom, he said to me, Yeah, he just um he paid for he paid for the deposit for the holiday using his credit card. I said, Blah, why don't you pay for it out of your own pocket, like pay for it cash? He said, Because I didn't have the money. Well, there you go then, fam. You shouldn't go on a fucking holiday, blood. But how, how? Someone explain this to me. How a man feels like he's entitled to go on a holiday, although he ain't got the money. If you ain't got the money, for whatever reason, I don't give a fuck what it is, yeah? If you ain't got the money, then you do not deserve to go on a holiday. But everyone feels like they're entitled to go on a holiday just because they work 40 hours a week. No, fam. You deserve to go on a holiday when you've done something out of the ordinary or you've been putting in overtime. So let's say, for example, the average person works 40 hours a week. Well, if you work 60 hours a week and you've been doing that consistently for four or five months, then yeah, take a little holiday. But if you're just doing the average stuff, the normal stuff, you don't deserve no holiday. Me, I can always keep beating this dead fucking horse blood. Remember that job I was at in Holborn for four and a half months straight? Every day, fam. Every day. My managers were telling me they were going to ban me from the construction site working there on a Saturday and Sunday, fam. Because I worked there so much. And even after that, to be fair, COVID did hit, but that didn't make no fucking difference. I did not feel like I was entitled to no holiday. I didn't even think to myself, yeah, I'm going to go on holiday and nothing like that. And I worked there every day for four and a half months straight. I took one day off because I had to do an exam that was important. If I didn't do this exam, I would have lost... Uh, my accreditation, which is to do and be an electrician or whatever. So I had to do this exam to keep up to date. That's the only reason why. And I was vexed as well because I lost out on £400 because my Sunday was worth £400 to me. So if I go on it, if I work on a Sunday, I earn £400. I was vexed, but I had to do it. 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 Yeah, man, I had to do it, man. But, and even then, a man worked. And it weren't some little idiot shift where, oh, man's just doing like 8 to 4. No, blood. 8 to 8 p.m. Monday to Friday. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. Even certain times during the week, Monday to Friday, a man was working till 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, man was on the job, fam. Don't get it twisted. I was a manager. I was a manager, but I was still there. I was still putting in, I was still putting in the work, still putting in the work, still putting in the hours. Other young people, hey, ah, oh, fuck that man, fuck that man. Yeah, I've got to go do this and do that and do, no. I'm investing in myself, I'm investing in my future and that. But yeah, back to the original point, yeah. Man for stop going and taking out these credit cards and that. 
Like one of the man them called up the other day. Actually, no, I'll, I'll talk about this point um, later on during the during the live stream. But anyway, yeah, man, man for stop using credit cards and that. And then people use this dumb excuse as well. Oh, well, if I don't take out a credit card, then my credit score ain't going to be that good. Listen, let me tell you, oh, I, I won't be able to get a mortgage that I'm never really going to get. I'm just saying it because it sounds cool. Yeah, it sounds like the right thing to say. I'm never going to get a mortgage if I don't have a good credit score and that. So I need to take out a credit card. Let me tell you something right now. I've got two mortgages at this moment in time. Yeah, I've got this house and I've got my flat around the corner. I've never had a credit card before. Yeah, my credit score was like 800 and something. Yeah, I think the max is like 900 and something. I don't really know about credit scores too tough. Now, I checked my credit score um, just before I got the property because obviously I have to do a credit check for myself and then submit it to my mortgage broker. And you have to check your credit score. Now, my credit score wasn't perfect. It wasn't 100 percent. It was like 90 percent, which was about 800 and something. Now, my thing is, because I've never defaulted, I've never missed any payments or nothing like that. Um, what has happened in the past is like, you know, like, because I've got multiple different bank accounts and that, all with like Santander, but I've got different accounts and that. So, you know, like you forget to top up one account. Um, you forget to put money in one account. So, so, for example, you've got two current accounts, but in one current account, you get all your wages paid. And then in the other current account, you, you have some bills coming out of both for the current accounts or whatever in it. So I had to keep one topped up so the bills get paid for. Now, a couple of times, Santander sent me um, an email and a text saying, oh, you better you better put some money in your account within the next few hours, motherfucker, or you know, you're going to default or whatever in it. So I always do. But I don't think that goes against me because that's happened to me bare times. I always have the money. It's just, oh, I forget to top up that account or whatever in it. But... To be fair, I don't think that's happened to me anyway. Um, yeah, so I've never defaulted or nothing like that. I've never had Bailey's coming to a man's yard or whatever, nothing like that. Um, the only thing is I get these little reminders, but I don't think the reminders goes against me or nothing, because that's happened a lot of times. So, um, yeah, my, 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 my credit score is good, but it's not perfect. Now, maybe, maybe... If you don't have a credit score, but your credit is perfect, i.e. you always pay your bills, you pay your direct debits on time, no one's ever sending you no letters, none of that nonsense, whatever. It is. Maybe it can only go up so far. Maybe it can only go up to 90%, which is about 800. Maybe you need to have a credit card to give you that extra little boost, extra little top up to make it perfect. Maybe, I don't know. Anyone who knows about finances, feel free to put down the comment section below or whatever in it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. But the whole point of this is you do not need a fucking credit card to get a good credit score because I'm the living proof. I've never had a credit a credit card in my life. You know, like Barclays Bank, a Vanquis card or Barclays card, but that goes straight in a fucking bin, blood. Like. Straight in a bin. Like leftover chicken bones, yeah? I don't enter to, I'm not interested in no fucking credit card, bro. Not interested in no credit card. All of this, oh, um, it, uh, to boost up your credit, just take out a credit card, buy a PlayStation, pay it off quickly, and then cut out the credit card in front of it. No, oh, fuck that shit, man. I don't, you don't need no credit card to get a credit score. I've got two mortgages, and I've never had a credit card. Argument done. Number two, fam. Piss me off, man. It's blood clot and that. No, you don't need it. You don't. You don't need a credit card, yeah. You don't need a credit card. That's why men are in debt. That's why men cannot save money. Cause you're you're paying off things that you don't need. Yeah. If you ain't got the money for it, then you don't deserve it. End of story. Remember that.